Table to table fans! That's a uh, fire shooting out of my hand, by the way, in case some of you were wondering why, uh, why that's happening. So guys, just so you know, this is where the action happens. It's Chad it's and Janine, right, that this, this is the liveliest two people here at the studio. So yes. what I want to know is uh, how, wh what the transition has been like from working downstairs to working upstairs. Well, my desk is smaller. <laughs> <laughs> And room. Just kidding. I do. I need to sprawl out. Yeah. She's everywhere. Yeah. It's like the odd couple up here. <laughs> that you're like you've always been like nice She's and neat. So and here comes Janine blocking the lane. I, I, the desk I, not lined up straight. I set my table like this. Yeah. And within an hour, it's like this. Yeah. Yeah. I she even apologized, and I'm like, I don't care. Now I, I have a question. Do you ever see? Uh, tables that are not lined up with the lines on the floor and adjust them so that they're... Uh, oh, okay. I do. <laughs> you actually line them up with the floor warts? Yeah, it, it bothers me. Like this one here. Yeah. No, this one's actually lined up, so apparently no, I've got right. to this one. No, it's not. It's, yeah. That's right on that line. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> See? There you go. There you go. So I'll come it's along like that right and do that. Is that what that is? Yeah. So let's take a look at what Janini's working on. It rhymes with panini. <gasps> Those are gorgeous. I love it. What level are these? Those are fours. Oh, fantastic. Guy, you can paint my level four stuff. That is great. Good I for love you. cricks. I love glowy things. They're my favorite. Guy, that is really super duper. I'm loving those. Oh, this guy is Yeah, he's crazy. going to be a six when he is done. Right. All right, fantastic. So thanks, Janine and Chad. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Army's on the block, uh, the Skaven. And I did a recount. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just, I'm completely redoing that one. I have this dwarf army. I had it up over the weekend, uh, 650. I had it reduced to 375. <laughs> So somebody's got to pick that one up. And uh, Guy, what else? Oh, we have this awesome um, Convergence of Cyrus army and uh, a bunch of Eldar jet bikes for basically the cost of the jet bikes. And they're painted up real nice. So uh, looks like a lot of the guys have gone home. I'm a little late for my studio update. And uh, now look at this hive of activity over here. There's a lot going on. Uh, Ren 1 is at home working on this giant chaos dwarf army. And uh, so what are you guys working on? Finishing the Robotech. Robotech! So Katie, what I want is on camera, right now, no editing, I want you to tell me how excited you are about the Robotech project. Well, you know what? They actually have grown on me. I'm excited to be painting these Robotech. Fantastic. <laughs> that makes me happy. That's awesome. All right. So, uh, yeah, every model's different, right? There's so uh, let's models. just take a few. There's this guy right here. So who's this? Um, that is Fury Squadron. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, I kind of want to watch this show now. Yeah. Yeah. I like Haven't you guys been while, having it playing, really like, like, constantly? I turned out Rick Hunter. Skull 1 Rick Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! It's fantastic. Okay, so uh, in other news, we have Steve now. He's a, he's a new painter here. Hello. Right? And yeah. you came down for a trial. Mm -hmm. So, quick question. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what prompted you to even give this a shot? It just seemed like a cool idea. I mean, I've been following Blue Table since, like, I think your website went live. Really? <laughs> yeah. 2007 then? Uh, yeah, yeah, it would be around then. Because you, you know, what was, was, you know what was going on in my life when I started making YouTube videos? No. It was horrible. Oh. Yeah, I, start, I started in like the basement, utterly crushed. <laughs> yeah, the entire staff had quit except one person. Really? Yeah. When? That's right. I don't think it I saw It was any... because of my amazing leadership. Yeah. 
Aww. it was too amazing for them all to handle. <laughs> so anyway, uh, no, actually, Rin, I hired Rin in the aftermath of that. I had nobody to assemble the models, and I went down to the local shop, and he had his Dark Angels, and um, yeah. You have a great view That's of the cool. top of Ren 2's head uh, <laughs> there. So um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, and I was like, hey, how would you like to? And he was uh, lugging paint at huh. the time. He was like, he had made paint deliveries. And uh, so I saved him from that. So anyway, so you've fo been following the thing since the beginning. Yeah, um, I just always thought it was a cool website, and I thought, you know, I've been painting a lot of minis lately. I'll throw a Hail Mary and send you guys a resume. And, right. Um, you know, kind of glad you guys... What, what's been your largest... Sorry, I, I didn't oh, let no, you finish cool. your sentence. No, I just... I, I listen very fast. <laughs> that's for the new no, company. I'm just uh, really happy for the opportunity. I mean, it's just it's a cool place to work. I, I think so, so far. I mean, I guess I've only really officially been here one day, but so far it's been a good day. Uh, it's happy times. I get to paint minis. He's lying, he hates it. Right now I'm like, I wonder if Steve would fit in that cage over there. Uh, I squish, so yeah. it's possible, yeah. Yeah. Probably. I think I have a gimp suit that would fit you. Huh. We need a lot of cornstarch, though. What kind of video are we making? <laughs> Sorry, I've been, uh, I've been, I've been watching <laughs> Archer, so my mind is all over the place. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> it's my uh, it's my dirty little vice. <laughs> oh, I got I got a really gimp suit. <laughs> no, I got <laughs> little of both. Um, Archer in the gimp suit. So anyway, <laughs> I, I dress up as Archer and then put myself in a gimp suit. Yep. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Danger zone. So here's <laughs> Lana. <laughs> Danger zone. This is why we have ants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, so what's been what's the largest challenge or the biggest challenge you've had as a um, as an artist here? Well, I think I did a Blood Angels army uh, one model at a time on oh, the desk. Oh, like why? Some, well, it was the only space I had available. Uh, but and the guy was understanding. He knew that I didn't have much for workspace, but I did it one model at a time, you know, over the course of a few months when I could, like, that was... Oh, so th that was before you came? Oh, yeah, that was I'm talking about there. after coming oh, as after a BTP painter. Let's see. Um, I'd say that defiler that uh, I did for a recent project was probably... Okay. I'd never painted a level six... I'd never painted a defiler, and a level six defiler has a lot of tiny spiky bits right. and a lot of anger, and it really just likes to spread that anger to whoever's okay. working on it. They're scary wow. models. I, I, they don't need demonic possession as an upgrade. They already have it. What what's been the okay demonic <laughs> possession? That that was the <laughs> answer. Um, what has been uh, the best thing about working here? Uh, the people are really cool. Honestly, that is true. I, I sound like I'm sucking up big time, but it's a, it's a cool environment. Well, you notice nobody Our opts to work upstairs. <laughs> I'm like, what? Of course, it is the summertime, and it's really cool down here. Yeah, I, I, I'm from Minnesota, so I don't know. Okay. I'm still adjusting to the heat. I know it's not objectively hot here. Well, you're in the desert. Yeah. But it, it actually isn't hotter. It gets into the 90s during the summer, you know. Yeah. It's not unusually hot. It's true. I'm just kind of... But uh, it is a dry heat. Yeah. And that's I, nice. I, it is. It is. It's... I don't have any good stories or jokes about dry yeah. heat, so... Right. Just... My wife could be, like, burning in hell, and she'd be like, at least it's a dry heat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's... Whoa, is this on? Yeah, it's Hey, going. is this thing on? Yeah. So, uh, hey, let's actually look at some models. Um... Shut up, Mason. I know, I know you got something exciting to show. It's drop pods. So here's the pods. This is a uh, post. Very exciting. These, Very exciting. these drop pods are definitely the best thing on this desk. What? Yeah. What is this? Ah. Sorry, everybody, for breaking the ah. speakers. Okay, go ahead. All right, so I first saw the Mountain King what, came out like a year ago or something like that. Okay. And immediately I wanted to use it for something in my work army, and I was like, I have to do that. And Wait, is this for you? Oh, that's for me. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Me. I thought it was for a client. Nope. <laughs> what? I bought it 
from uh, the web store, or not from the web store, from uh, the war store. Okay, good. Had it shipped out. Oh, by the way, mm. just so everybody knows, that's one of the best things about working here. Is oh, it? yeah. Oh, yeah. Is you get access to all of the distributorship accounts. Yes. So you go up to Chad, he logs you on, you pay with your own credit card or PayPal or yes, whatever. Money. Yeah, that or work. that. And uh, and then the package comes in care of your name, and yeah, that's what, that's what you get. You get like 30, 40% off. Yeah, it's awesome. awesome. Yeah, it's unbeatable. Okay, so, so anyway, what else? I saw that model whenever it came out. I think it was like a year ago or something like that. Right. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to use that for something. And originally I thought... So this is your Morkanaut. Yeah. Okay. This Since this came out, what was it, like a month ago that the Morkanaut came right. out? I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. They're like almost the exact same size. And if you actually compare the size wise, yeah, they're just pretty dang like close. close. Like he's just slightly shorter so I can put him up on some rocks and stuff, which I want to do anyways. Right. And uh, he'll actually be about the same height as him. Okay, <laughs> That's yeah. That's going to be so awesome. Be like that. So yeah, I pretty much spent the entire day yesterday just going ham right. on that guy. That I love fun. that he has an engine block Isn't that on cool? his... <laughs> and then there's an exhaust pipe that runs down through the inside of his armor that comes out the back. Oh no! Oh yeah, there it is. That's very clever. Yeah, it's very clever. And then for the, the custom so he's an orc mega that's camp. been in the warp. Yeah, that was the idea I had. Behind that it. he and so he's just been fighting and fighting and fighting. Just and fighting demons and just left and right, bigger just, and bigger. He hasn't lost yet. <laughs> Dude, so, that's fantastic. Pooped that's out ridiculous. of the warp, and he's like, Poop, there he is, and now he's uh, getting ready to lead a big wall. So what he's done is he's um, magnetized. Because uh, this is a vehicle, right? Technically, yeah, yeah. it is. It's a transport. So the things that I've discovered, and then just th they're breakaway, so they don't so they don't break, break off. Because you know those big tanks that I have. Yeah. That's the only problem that they had is I made like these awesome, like I actually made like custom uh, force, like, force field? field stuff for uh -huh. them, and they've just been shattered and broken off from like storage and gameplay and everything. Right. So I didn't want that to happen with this guy, so I actually just magnetized them just for that purpose, so they wouldn't get snapped off. Well, yeah, this is this is really amazing. There's like a dozer blade, or a, what's that <laughs> called? All kinds uh, of, I don't even know what these are from. This is from right. some um, some other games, something right. like that. And I was yeah, like, we have yeah. got a lot of kits floating around here. Yep. And uh, so when you commission an army through BTP, uh, you can do what's called a conversions budget. So you mm -hmm. give like this open-ended thing. They can give me free reign and the, get something or, just like that. Yeah, or you, they, you can be specific. But yep. the point is, we've got this huge, absolutely huge stowage of bits and yep. pieces and things and kits. And I even order this stuff is my just to do conversion it. bin. Yeah. And, and the artist <laughs> actually will make stashes like that yep. and not share. Well, that's what I usually so, do is I'll have stuff left over from a yeah. project, and it's kind of things that are like all hodgepodge or broken. Right. And I'll be like, I could throw that away, or I could just keep that and throw it in right. there. So you never know when you're going to need something. be like, this would be the perfect bit. Right. So, yeah. I hope somebody takes me up on uh, that order thing. Are you still doing the... No, the that's, that's oh, gone. No. Yeah. That's, that's right. not a thing. You can still get stuff that's from That's all right. Me. Okay, so... Um, yeah, and, and we don't charge for the piece unless there's something really special. We don't charge yeah. for the pieces, and that's really a big deal. Did you green stuff all this? Mouth I actually paid there? men to do it. Really? Because I can green stuff. Dude, obviously I can green stuff. Yeah, but but I wanted it to be not perfect. like this. And yeah, Ben is like awesome. Yeah, he really did something awesome for yeah. you. All right, yeah, we got a lot. Hey, Alora, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What you trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's it going, Alora? Hey. <laughs> Okay, d no, 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 do, do something entertaining. She doesn't want to talk because her voice is her voice. I really hey. really... No, that was good. So, hold on, what, what projects have you been working on? Um, I, right now, I'm doing Infinity, and um, I did some Robotech, and now I'm doing Eldar. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Thanks for sharing you know and being part do. of it. Here with, we're here with new guy Paul, and Paul and I had a game of DZC over the weekend. Yeah. And it was awesome. It was really fun. For me. He just because he was winning and then he didn't win. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing, so I just kind of took everything that looked cool yeah. <laughs> and um, ended up not having any yeah. anti-air in the game. You, do, you need chips. that. You need so, that. Yeah. But it was fun. Okay, great. I got the big 80s and he was walking around in the middle of the board and just shooting in every direction. Now, did you just finish a bunch of Skaven? Oh no, there's Skaven are right there. They're going. You know, I'm not going to show the pile of Skaven because they're, they're pretty rough right now. Yeah, they're not and looking, people. They're people not got to understand it's a process. that this is a creative area. Yeah. Yep. You know, what on earth is this? Oh, it's a fly strip? <laughs> that is gross. I love how you just grabbed it, too. That, that is, is just foul. All right, camera on me. 
So now, now the crowd gets to see this whole beautiful operation right here. Mm. <laughs> so, um, I'm probably getting something here. So anyway, so what's new with Sean? Hmm. Well, first off, uh, health and fitness. For four months, I've been uh, working out, and as you can see, it's really paying off. Yep. My nipples are so. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Shut the front door. Yeah. Shut the front door. Sean's nipples are hard. Just cross your arms. I used to. I used to. They are so smooth. Just cross your arms. I can't even believe it. No more changing. Yeah. Right? They're amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now, we now, get on. now we're going. Okay. Fantastic. You just bought that shirt. It's the wrong yeah. color. What? What? It, what are you talking about? This that, is an awesome it's, color. It's not the right color shirt. It's not teal. Oh jeez! <laughs> Seriously, I have other color shirts. No, you don't. I have I have two seafoam green polos yeah, and two teal polos. I mean, you're yeah, wearing like a lot of laundry though. Yeah, and pants. I actually got new polos. <laughs> so there you go. I could put on I could put on like ten polos, pop all the collars, and be king of oh, the douchebags. Yeah. Oh lord! <laughs> yeah, that's. Just, then you gotta, Does, you gotta get shot at Jake. Jake, tuple popped collars. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyway, yeah. you, you guys are, the world is welcome to the gift of me. Yep. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to Zumba twice a week, right? So, uh, basically, I, I'm, in, I'm in an industry where it's 99% male. 80% of my worker force is male. That's a real word. Shut up. And uh, so basically, I go to Zumba, and I'm the only guy in the class. So that uh, that is a good way to start the day, if you ask me. They, I I think it offsets. Yeah, I was gonna say it yeah. offsets the energy. Just but by the way, I am I am so bad at it. I'm so bad. And these ladies, apparently, they all know what they're doing. They all know these little dance moves, and they just like I'm like, how are they keeping up? Like I'm half a beat behind, like. <laughs> trying to clap uh, to the rhythm, you know, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's guys, it's it's gotta it's gotta look ugly, it's gotta be. It's gotta so be. The but I'm determined. Oh yeah, did they miss the nipple? Stuff? Yeah, oh, they did. But my question was, did you discover? The but I have calluses. Of callus, nice calluses on there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh god. Kidding. I actually oh, have done that before because they were like kind of hurting. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Where so, uh, shame oh. them and they don't wear such tight shirts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Oh, god. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, world. <laughs> So, all right, so back to uh, Wargamer world. Yeah. Uh, oh, and at this, um, at this, um, at the Provo Recreation Center, uh, they have, part of the pool has like waterfalls that comes down, and there's three like rock climbing places, right? In the pool? So yeah, so like nobody's using them, so I dive in, I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm conquering this. I'm like, yeah, I get to the top, I'm like, oh, uh, what up now? So I drop back into the pool, and then I find out it's a kid's climbing. <laughs> so, and these little kids, because like it was so hard for me to like get my bulk to the top, right? And these little kids like swim up and just scamper up to the top and then dive back in. I'm just like, like in, oh. your, in your head, the 18 oh, was going yeah. dun, 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 dun. And I gotta look like, you know, some kind of albino bullfrog <laughs> trying to make his way. Dude, you're drifting. Am I? Yeah, come yeah, on, right. Paul. Work the camera you gotta get nice. A, get a free minute. Yes, right? that's right. Yeah. Because people are enjoying this. You <laughs> may not think, but... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm drifting off towards Mason, apparently. <laughs> Give the world one of these. <laughs> so anyway... Um, <laughs> oh, God. That's so bad. All right. Let's talk about Necrons. The Necrons. So I've wanted for a while to do another Necron army because I love the Necrons. I love the whole weird science thing. So, by the way, if you want to commission a Necron army and run it parallel to mine, let's get going on that now. Because as of tomorrow, my uh, almost 8,000 points of Krons are going to be on the way from the UK. Yeah, what? Yes, you. You're my buddy too. So are we going to do the same paint scheme? Sure. Teal and gold. Uh, oh, I'm gold doing uh, oxidized copper, which is essentially oh, gold with teal. Oh, no, no. That's then, not no, we're not doing the same. It's thing. not teal. I really do a teal, are you? 
no. I'm going to do... Well, okay, if I may, in my defense, I have done a non-teal army. Well, I like the rest of the Right. Those were cool. Well, and, but uh, they're done to, just like the fungus nids. They they're were fun while they last. They're, they're done to death. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I am ready to part with those fungus nids. And it's a good army. It's got some good conversion work on it. Uh, it needs a little bit of painting finish on it, but uh, otherwise, that's awesome. So contact me about those because I gotta, I gotta move on. So for my nids, I'm doing a blue and bow, just like uh, Wilkie's yeah. army. Shout out to Wilkie, because he loves that. I know you do, I know you're watching. So, um, the cards, yeah, you do so that's, those now belong to me. No. The nids? So, yeah, the blue nids. So, okay. so I'm doing the blue nids with the bone carapace. And um, so the, Necron, the Necrons are gonna be blue, gold, and deck tan slash white, uh, with charcoal gray for some of the underpinning there. And I, I, I think it's, I think it's gonna be a really good color scheme. But the glowy parts, I'm either going to make the glowy parts like a green green, very bright, or, what? Oh, it's raining. Oh, yeah. I love this. It's dumping pretty uh, good. This I is should, great. I should probably go close my windows, too. Yeah. Alright, guys, well, that's it. Uh, so, hold on. Just to recap what we got going on. You can get LEDs in your projects now. You can buy one of my used armies. You can trade in your old army. Uh, and that, and we'll make you like four different offers of different types. You can commission an army. That's that's and that's what we do. One fig to twenty thousand points. We can handle all of it. Oh, and we take all challengers. That that is that is correct. And uh, and Valhalla. Oh, okay. First off, whatever you do, do not miss this October's Valhalla. Get out here. Do like. You know, Eastern Indian style on your belly penitence to the top of the mountain. Just get there. That's like crawling on your belly to the top. <laughs> that's what that looks like. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it's like. So get to Valhalla because it's going to be wait for it. Epic. Oh. I, I don't think that's how that goes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we're doing. And, and the Necrons. If you want to do a concurrent Necron army with me, uh, get some updates, have some fun with it. Yeah, get get in touch. Oh, and I'm looking for night sides. The one thing this army is missing is about six night sides. So I know people will love me for saying that and doing that. All right, I guess that's it. All right, thanks, Paul. See you guys later. See you tomorrow. Is it still going? Okay, so here's Alex, and oh, so he's got his reference material up. He's painting a cauldron of blood, oh. right? Just getting getting those base coats on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when a new a new artist is paid by the hour, just to make sure that they don't, you know, they don't dip below. And I know they're doing well when they come up and say, "Hey, I want to be paid flat like the other artists." That that means they're doing good. Is this your war band? Yeah. Dude, awesome. Wow, guy, Mordheim is just going crazy around here. Oops. Yep, but I don't got time for that nonsense. Time for that! <laughs> Bought new pillows for the studio. Ta-da! Pretty cool, huh?